Good morning, Seattle and YouTube. So here we are. We're in Seattle. This is Chris's Mustang. I thought he won it in a video game, but we uh just get us a Ford to go. Because Chris did the event that ooh, listen to that 5.0. Chris did the event uh, for Forza. He's, he's the Forza guy, he's Forza friends. So right now, I'm headed over to Microsoft Studios, Microsoft Compound, Microsoft Headquarters, whatever you want to call it. That's where we're going. Just make sure this doesn't run anybody over on its way to work by itself. Try not to. Alright, Chris, take me straight to Bill's office. Pretty cool, so we're just wandering around the Microsoft office here, but they just have like stuff like this laying around. This is ridiculously heavy. Holy crap, I'm like, how does this work? It's going to do this. Whoa! And this is, it's amazing how realistic some of these props around here are in the Microsoft offices. This is Microsoft marketing, so this is where they do all the marketing stuff, but we got Gears of War, we got that guy, there's a bunch of Halo stuff around here, it's just really, really cool. Who's that guy? That's Marcus. Ah. Marius. Oh uh, yeah, what's he doing? He is about ready to kill somebody, I guess. Yeah? It's from Rias. Looks like he's just chilling. <laughs> he's just chilling, he's just chilling. <laughs> Doesn't move much. It's pretty impressive, it, like it's very large. It is. Uh, blah, blah. Now we're hanging out in Chris's office for uh, just a little bit. Check it out. This is what a, a Microsoft office looks like if you guys ever want to see anything like that. Um, but we're checking out Titanfall 2. I'm going to play through some of the campaign. Chris has a little bit of a business meeting going on here in a few minutes. So I thought I'd sit down, play a little Xbox at Microsoft. Why not? It's like home turf advantage, right? So <laughs> Titanfall 2 campaign. So far, I've played like five minutes of it, but it's pretty fun. Not a bad view of the Space Needle from here. Yeah. Hey, uh, where you Just kidding. It's a sticker, guys. But tell you what, the Microsoft campus here has a beautiful view, which of course plays into the whole design. But man, it'd be nice to work at a place like this, wouldn't it? And dog treats for those who prefer dog treats. Oh, yeah, and sprees. You guys hit a home run in the sprees. We just got to Turn 10 Studio Headquarters, home of Forza Motorsports. And this is the McLaren P1. I don't want to touch it, but there's couple signs on it that says I shouldn't, so. So here at Turn 10, they have on display all the awards that Forza and Turn 10 has won, which is pretty cool, pretty impressive list. Uh, but honestly, I'm kind of, I'm more impressed with the free sodas, so I'm gonna go over here. This is a pretty monstrous Lamborghini that I'm looking at. One of the cool things about being friends with Chris and all the Forza stuff that he does is he gets to meet people that are, own these dealerships and operate these cars and Chris has actually ridden in this car and he said this this exact car not like the model not anything like this one and he says that it is absolutely crazy and awesome and wonderful is that true yeah right, is that right, right. quote Ventadors quote from Chris Bishop crazy fast this one is either this is the SV SV <laughs> mod model so it's it's knocked up a lot more yeah and in the interior I don't really want to touch anything this is the kind of car like, you don't even break wind in. Like, hey, do not fart on my Lamborghini seats. They are a really, 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 really nice car. <laughs> <laughs> These are pretty sick. It has, I mean, I can't even tell you how awesome this is. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. <laughs> so when you have a car like this, you have to master, like, being stylish when you get in and out. You can't just be like, ooh, and like get out looking like you're supposed to be driving a Lamborghini. And I just figured out that's there's a little bit of talent to that. I would sit in the garage and be like, <laughs> practice my getting in and out. And here is just a really, really nice Rolls Royce. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I don't know. I'm assuming it's a Phantom. I honestly, I don't know a whole lot. And I'm like a total classic guy. I love this stuff. I love these cars. They are so awesome, but it doesn't, it's not me. I just, I really like classic old stuff that's been taken care of for a long time. So I'm gonna take you over and show you what I think might be just the coolest, absolutely neatest car in this building. I mean, you look at something like this and you realize how well taken care of it's been, how long somebody has cared for it, how much time and energy has gone into preserving this and just making sure that it stays what it is, which is an unbelievably awesome machine. <laughs> Kayla and I went to a coffee shop and I had my first cardamom. Am I saying that right? I always want to say like carb carb. I stepped on my first robotic <laughs> coffee. Robotic vacuum today. What? I stepped on my first robotic vacuum today. Okay. See, like the vacuum moves around, so when I came in, it was going, and I like didn't 
Yeah, yeah they have all these, like, like they have, like, a robot mop, like a robot vacuum on. here. Funny story, Kayla and I were walking back, and, um, they, the boys called and said that they were back, but we were gonna have to wait because they bought a new fish, and I'm like, wait, so they went to Microsoft and just were like, hey, let's stop at the fish store on the way home, and Kayla's like, yep. Like, does this happen a lot? She goes, oh yeah. They have a new fish in this bag, and they're naming him Mr. John Dahl. <laughs> That's and Mr. John Dahl TV. Here's the robot. It's coming after me. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. All the fish are eating. They were saying clownfish are actually mean. Look at this. We're going down to the docks. I feel like we're mobsters or something. Look at all these storage containers. <laughs> I just was gonna put my arm. I was just gonna put my arm around you to vlog, and then he kissed me. How cute is that? Yeah. It Take is, it in, people. Yeah, it's really it's beautiful here. the Seattleness of the Seattle skyline. We came to a lookout point. Yeah. Seattle's really just a fun, comfortable city. It's very enjoyable. It reminds me a lot of Minneapolis. Like I just kind of feel like I'm at home. It's pretty cool. Look how pretty that skyline looks on the water here. I don't know if you can see behind us, but look, it's a, it's the uh, the stratosphere. That big tall pointy building right there. <laughs> he kids, he kids. He knows it's the Space Needle. What's the one in Canada? There's one in Canada? Yeah. You guys can comment below. I didn't know that's about that. That's actually it. That's Canada. Didn't I? Yeah, right la over there. <laughs> last time we were here, I called it the Empire State Building. <laughs> but I knew what it was. I just had a brain fart. I knew it. But yeah. It's cool, we're enjoying the view, and I just love being somewhere new. Oh, I'm oh, vlogging, oh, thank you thank though. You. We're doing a little video. <laughs> yeah, I love exploring. People like, always ask us when we're filming and vlogging, they're like, oh yeah, we'll take a picture for you. It's like, oh, <laughs> really appreciate it, we're, we're filming, so. Yeah. yeah. No, but I appreciate nice people who are willing to take pictures for other people. Mm-hmm, definitely. It's the beach. Woo! Jamaica, come on. Like From, yeah, like, Jamaica? <laughs> <laughs> there's a, we're driving up here and I go, oh, there's like a little boardwalk to walk around. It's just like Duluth. <laughs> so we're gonna get some lunch. We came down to a cute little area where there's lots of like little restaurants and bars right on the water. We're gonna get some Mexican food. <laughs> we're eating at a restaurant called El Chupacabra. I like crypto, actually, I think I did a project on cryptozoology in high school. And I like research the chupacabra and all these uh, different creatures. The good soaker. This chili relleno looks bomb. I don't think I've ever had it smothered in a sauce like this before. But everybody's food looks really good here. You said this place is really yummy, right? Great margaritas and good food. Mm hmm. And it's right on the water here. So we have like the beach back there. Yeah. Steak nachos. Steak nachos? <laughs> it, that might. Do you talk really in our vlogs at all? Do you ever say much? <laughs> Stig nachos. Stig nachos. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, 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 I get it. Like, sometimes you just don't know what to say. Always good information. Delicious. Good, good. We're gonna see the troll! Fremont troll. Free, is troll. That, he's the called the Fremont troll? troll? Yeah. I believe so. Mm. You can Google it. You can touch his you know, inner. Yeah, I'm gonna his pick nose his, his nose. Yeah. That's, That's what I'm really looking forward to. We came. I know, I wanna get all up in his nostril. It's gonna be amazing. So we didn't see the troll. Oh. We didn't see the troll last time we were here. <gasps> I see his eyeball. Cool, here he is. Oh, he does have a car under his hand. John's the, the ultimate photo bomb. <laughs> we got lovers kissing. <laughs> John's just at the top there. John, come down. I want a picture. <laughs> this was cool, though. I'm glad I finally got to see it. It wasn't as easy to pick his nose as I thought. I actually really just like driving around, too, don't you? Like, in a new city. Just kind of looking at everything. Lots to take in. Yeah, there's just a lot of different stuff to look at. Like, smell that? It smells like Seattle. <laughs> it has a very distinct smell. You guys have to be here. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but the buildings are really cool. They have lots of really cool parks around here. We just saw a dog lounge. Yeah. You, can, you can lounge around with your dogs. True story. Um, yeah, and good. then I love how, how much water there is. So, so much traffic here, it's like, it's uh, I don't. I wouldn't say it's as bad as LA, though. Keep riding the park. Comparable. You think? Yeah, it's well, a, well, it's a different type of traffic flow. 
there's a whole lot of water and islands that you have to kind of jump back and forth to, so everyone's kind of going to the same spot where LA is just like. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Traffic wise. Yeah. So tonight, Kayla Nail. is making homemade lasagna. And it's by Italian. homemade, I mean you're making all the noodles, all of the everything. The Not sauce. the cheese, but everything. like the meat and the sauce and everything. So she has her little noodle maker thing over there. And where did you learn how to do this? Online. Yeah? Oh, I thought in Italy. I ate delicious food in Italy and then I was okay. really inspired by it, so here So you did go to Italy, did. you did have delicious pasta, but then you decided to learn how to make it. Yes. All right. So this is two carrots, two ribs of celery, a pound of sausage, and I did hot and country style. Yeah. And then half a tube of tomato paste. Bang. What are you doing? I'm editing the vlog. Oh. Why? We're on vacation. YouTube don't take breaks, y'all. So you are editing our vlog from yesterday. Yeah, which will be posted online. You guys can watch, tonight. but this is uh, tonight. This is like behind so the scenes. So you will have already seen it. <laughs> behind the scenes, live yeah, action. Yeah, yeah. This is the fish that he got today. It's a trigger fish. This is a bechamel sauce that I seasoned with nutmeg and cayenne pepper. All right. And I'm mixing about half a bag of mozzarella. Being from Minnesota, living so close to Wisconsin, I know cheese. That smells like some pretty good cheese. layer of the meat sauce down, the noodles, mm -hmm. then the bechamel, the meat sauce, and layer on the noodles, or the top of the pan, you know which way. And then bake for 425 for like 30 minutes maybe. Cool. I'll have the finished product a little bit. So one of the things about this recipe too is like the meat, the cheese, the pasta, it's already kind of been cooked. So you're like, once you put it all together, you just have to bake it for like you said, 30 minutes and it'll cook and be delicious. So we just FaceTimed with Iris and she seemed like she was kind of mad at us. She was just like glaring into the camera lens when we were talking to her and she was like, mm. I'm like, Iris, we're gonna be home in a couple days. We love you and we miss you. Aw. But it's about bedtime for her too. Maybe that was part of it. We feel, yeah, this is like the longest time we've ever been away from her, so. Um, I mean, she's a she's pretty independent kid, so it'll probably be like just fine. Usually she's like, all right, see ya. But yeah, we miss our ay ay. So it's dinner time, having a delicious home cooked meal. This lasagna is really good. Lasagna. Yeah. Oh, cat's attacking the camera. <laughs> really good. Hey, kitty. It's so good. Thanks for cooking, Kayla. Yeah, it's yummy. 